buy you lunch at those prices. You're saying I'm not worth it? No, I'm saying her grub ain't. Ah, uh, four minutes. I'd get a move on if I were you. One of these days, that woman is going to get her comeuppance. <gasps> She's right, though. we better run. I ain't running nowhere. Where are you going? To make the most of me four minutes. In peace. Typical, isn't it? The one time I want to get home early to see you OK. What are you doing? I'm about to work, Paul. But it's lunchtime. I know, but it's community health project this afternoon. Shiv, you can't go back to work. Well, not yet, anyway. It's only been two days. You need to rest at home. I want to get back to normal. You call this normal? But you don't have to put up a front, you know. No one expects you to get on with anything just yet. Least of all, me. It's not a front. I'm all right. Oh, come here. <sighs> And once you're over this, we can always start again. How do you mean? Well, we can try for another baby. And it'll work out next time, you'll just see. OK? Mm. Oh, someone's in a hurry. Not particularly. I'd like to order a taxi, please. Oh, I'll be with you in just a minute, Miss Watson. Uh, don't worry, Dad. I'll sort it. I thought you left yesterday. Oh, don't worry, I'm going now. Not much point me staying, thanks to you. What are you talking about? What have I done? Don't give me that. I work in politics, remember? I deal with blackmail every day. Blackmail? I don't know nothing about blackmail. Funny. That's not what Gloria told me. Hilary, I haven't tried to blackmail anyone. I wouldn't dream of such a thing. <laughs> Gloria offered me money to keep quiet. Naturally, I didn't accept it. I do have scruples, you know. Don't find many scruples with ex-cons. Listen. Just cos Gloria dumped you for her husband, don't go taking it out on me. Oh, come here, look. I'm sorry. I, I really am. It wasn't just the drink talking the other night. We were good together. I love her. I know you do. Anyone can see that. I'd have risked everything for her. All I meant was we could try again for a baby. I don't want to try again. I know things feel pretty hopeless at the moment, and we've both been through hell. And I know getting his hopes up again will be hard after what's happened. Exactly. But we can get there. Losing the baby's been hard on me too. Then try and see my point, Paul. Trying for another one is the last thing I want to think about right now. Oh, you don't mean that. I do. Look, I know none of it were planned, but I got really excited. And we always said we'd have a family. Yeah, when I'm ready. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't realise I was saying something so bad. You never do. So then, good night, I take it. Yes. Uh, sorry for dragging her away from you. Oh, I don't mind. Sounds like you had quite an urge. <laughs> I've come a long way since my days of pining after Ashley. His loss, my gain. It's so good to be back here with you. Now that I've arranged an office for Hillary, perhaps this could be a more regular thing. I'm afraid Hillary's had to go back to Westminster. Huh. Should have realised it wouldn't last long. I suppose you'd be following. Well, I was planning on spending some quality time with my constituents, if you'll have me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Good. Thought I might hold a surgery tomorrow. And what about today? Today, I intend to devote to you. Come oh. on. Where are we going? Where do you think? Ah. in such a rush. Lovers in the air. Cha -cha 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 -cha. <laughs> Which reminds me, I've got the afternoon off. Oh, you... good. Hmm. Because we'll be going to the hospital to see Terry. You've got to tell her. You've got to tell her that you love her and you're not prepared for it to end like this. Well, what's the point? She's obviously made her mind up to stick with her husband. There are two of you in this. You've got to make her see how much she means to you. Right. I'm ready for you now, Miss Wallace. Uh, just a minute, Dad. We're just having a chat. If things between you were as good as you say they were, I mean, surely she's worth fighting for. Yeah, you're right. I know I'm right. So you're going to go and unpack again. Then later on, you're going to take her for a walk, somewhere romantic, and you're going to make her see that it's you she should be with. Do it before you lose her forever. 
Thanks, Steph. You don't know how much this means to me. Hilary, you don't know how much it means to me. I'll go and tell Mr Turner I'm staying a bit longer. You do that. I'll see you back here in a bit. I've just got a couple of jobs to finish, that's all. <laughs> well, this is a difficult situation for the both of you. I think it's the answer to all our problems, just trying for another kid. Well, he obviously thinks that's what you really want. Not now I don't. I thought I'd solved everything, but it's just getting worse. Well, what did you expect? I don't know. I know I've done the right thing, but I just didn't realise he'd be so devastated. Yeah, poor guy. Love him to bits. I feel so awful, but all this talk of trying again. I didn't expect him to bring up kids so soon. Have you thought about just telling him the truth? As if. No. I've done what I've done, there's no going back. I just hope he can start to get over it soon. If you've come back here looking for more stories about Charity Tate, you've had a wasted journey. We've got nothing to say to you. Can a reporter not come in a local pub these days without being on the make? In your case, I doubt it. Stop Stokes. You must be Derek. Thanks for coming at such short notice, mate. Sit down. Um, I think you'll find it's worth your while. Let's hope so. So? What have you got for me? Oh, something of a scoop. I wonder, what would your paper be prepared to pay for a story about an MP having an affair with a toy boy? Depends. How high are we talking? Well, backbencher, but pretty well known round here. Grand. Grand and a half, maybe. Really? So you know the name of this MP, do you? Oh, I know a damn sight more than that. What say we go and catch him at it? <laughs> I didn't never to come home. Well, it's my day off. I wanted to have a lazy morning in the village, and that's exactly what I had. Ah. Well, I'm saying ah, but I've seen it all before. Just promise me one thing, pet, that if a dark, brooding chef turns up, you won't be tempted to try him out on the quiet. Mm. I suppose it must be a little bit like history repeating it's itself. It's Only slightly. Emil. Oh, don't worry, I won't keep on comparing the two of you to him and my Bernice. Oh, Tell you what, why don't oh, I look dear. after Gabby for the rest oh, of the day? Dear. She must be getting under oh, feet a bit. I thought you hated oh, kids. Dear. I don't hate them, Diane. I'm just not so good with them. I'm going to be spending more time around Ashley's. I suppose I better brush up on my skills. Well, I could do with a couple of hours to myself. Great. Well, we'll see you later then. Bye, sweetheart. You're going to stay with Louise. Come on, Gabby. Come on, darling. Thanks, Pat. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, give me a cuddy. Oh, it's a good book. Do you like that book? Right. Where are you going to look for a first? Oh, at home. OK. But like I said, make sure you take her for a walk. You don't want to be trying to win around, surrounded by her husband's bits and pieces. Good thinking. Thanks, Steph. It's the least I can do for you, love. Well, go on, then. I'll be keeping everything crossed for you. <laughs> right. We'll give him a couple of minutes. Then we're going, uh... Watch to see where they head off together. Great. Now you sure they're at it? Oh, I've been having sleepless nights on a constant basis since he's been kipping here. I tell you, the walls are paper thin. <laughs> Fair enough. You, uh, you have got the cash. You do pay up front, I take it. You'll get your money, guaranteed. But when the story's in print, that's the way it goes. Oh, well, fair enough. Come on. No problem at all. Hi, Tell. Terry. Hello, darling. You're all right. Mm. Daddy. We've done really well today, haven't we, Tell? Yeah. Come on, we'll show them your party piece. Oh my God, that 
That's great. Pretty good, eh? What is it? Well, he's sitting up and drinking on his own. Yeah. That's fantastic, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have you mobile soon enough. One step at a time, though, eh, mate? Oh, you're doing so well, love. We'll have you home in no time. Back with me and TJ where you belong, eh? Yeah. We knew you wouldn't be in here long, didn't we, Bob? Yeah, we did, yeah. She's got to be there. But she's not the factory. Well, no one's answering and he's been knocking a while now. Oh. What are you here? I thought you'd gone back to London. These are for you. Who is it, darling? Uh, nobody! Stay where you are, Eric. I'll deal with it. Not here. Not now. Oh, I love you, Gloria. I'm not going to just let you go. Not just like that. There isn't going to be anything between us, Hilary. I told you yesterday. You, you don't mean that, though, do you? Look, let's just give it one last go. I'll go back down to London. You can follow me later. No. Look, go and wait for me down by the village hall. I'll tell Eric I need to see someone, and I'll come and join you in a minute. Go on, then. Go! Is that it? I don't understand. Oh, flipping waste of time this is turning out to be. They were having a chat, like colleagues do. I've got deadlines, you know. Gabby! I think that's enough rearranging the cassettes for now, don't you? Come on, let's have a chocolate. Hey, you want a chocolate? Fancy a chocolate? A chocolate? A chocolate? Oh, Gabby, you've got it all over me. I told you, didn't I? She's arranged to meet him away from the house. We'll see. We discussed this yesterday, and I told you it's over. Who said anything? Oh, come about on. It was one night, and I won't lose everything I've got with Eric over some silly mistake. Is that what I was? You made it, Pete. Yes. And I've said, I'm sorry. You're a wonderful man, Hilary. Really, you are, and I never meant to mess you around. But things have changed since then. You know they have. So I end up with nothing, is that it? No, find somebody else, somebody better than me. More your own age. But I want you. You will see, in time. This is for the best. Yes, that's more like it. Very juicy. Yeah. I think we're onto something here. Oh, I know, so. I mean, you've got the evidence. Yeah, all I need to do now is talk to Mrs. Pollard. What for? Or give her a chance to come clean. Oh. Oh, I suppose so. I'll give you the factory number. She's got a meeting there in half an hour. Are you sure? Well, I booked it. There you go. Okay. Um, she's sure she's in here, but. Even so, I'll give her a call, eh? Yeah. Okay. Well, I better go. I'm expected in Leeds. Nice to do business with you. And, according to everyone that was in the pub at the time, him and Louise just oh. asked left. Anyone else you want to know about? You probably can't understand what you're saying, Viv. Don't fill his head with too much, hey? Hey, Dad, Terry's not... Good. Hey, I'll get us a drink. Viv, will you take TJ? I'll do that. No, it's all right. Come on, we can manage. Yeah, it's a good boy. Right, then. Oi. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm coming. It's all right. I can get it. No, it'll be for me. The wholesalers. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Gloria Pollard speaking. No comment, Mr Hickling. I said no comment. Hiya. Hi. I tried ringing your mobile. Sorry, I've not had it on. I just needed some time to myself. It's all right, I understand. And I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I don't want to upset you. Oh, no, love. Oh, it was a stupid thing to suggest so soon, I know that. All I was trying to do was look to the future, help us get on with his lives. Paul, please. Stop apologising. <laughs> it's me that should be feeling bad for storming out. I am getting through this reasonably okay, honest I am. It's just... I'm not ready to start...
I'm thinking about another baby. Yeah, you're right. We just need to get on with things for a bit. Get back to normal. Oh, I love you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, hello again. Everything all right? Shania. Who? Oh. Gloria Pollard. I just want a quick word with her. She was here ten minutes ago because I spoke to her. Yeah, she sped off in her car not five minutes since. But she looked a bit unnerved, actually. Oh, well. Do you mind if I wait here? Just till she gets back, of course. Uh, I doubt she'll be back today. Well, it'd make a better story if I could get a few personal quotes. You haven't got a mobile number on me, have you? She turned it off. I tell you what, why don't we both finish early? Nip into Leeds, a couple of bars. Here, yeah, there's a fabulous restaurant I could introduce you to. It's a nice idea. But if I could just catch Gloria Pollard. She definitely won't be in again today. Still, regardless of that, we had a lot of success, didn't we, you and me? Well, the story's looking pretty strong as it stands. But if I could get a proper confession instead of this no comment. I think you and me make a good team. I don't understand women like Mrs Pollard going for boys half their age. Me, I favour the more mature man. Oh, Ash. What's the matter? Oh, dear. Oh. Well, I took her to the playground. She fell off the swing. Didn't you use the one with the restraint? Oh, no, sorry, I didn't think. It's only a minor graze, isn't it, sweetheart? Yeah, are you sure? Because, you know, when it happened, she cried for about ten seconds. It's fine. Look, she's perfectly happy, aren't you? Yes. She's with you again, that's why. <laughs> she's probably relieved her afternoon with Auntie Louise is finally over. Actually, I tried really hard, but everything kept going wrong. Calm down. I'm sure she had a wonderful time. Yeah, I think she's trying to tell me something. I mean, she was sick on my top. Now I've got <laughs> chocolate all over me. You don't have to be a mother to Gabby, you know. I know, I just... <sighs> no buts. This is about you and me having some fun. Yeah, just relax and it'll be Turn fine. It down. Are you married? Divorced. Oh, I see. And you can stop right there. What? What's the matter? <laughs> if you think coming on to me is going to get you a bit more money, well, you can think again. What do you mean, coming on to you? Well, what else would you call? I was merely suggesting that we make a good team in business. I know what you were doing. You forget, love, we're the same, me and you. Both out for what we can get. Why don't you get out? Don't get on your high horse. I've seen this happen plenty of times before. I've never been so insulted. I'll be in touch about your cash. Yeah, you better be. Hey, we'll come and see you again tomorrow, darling. Won't we? Hey, come and see Daddy again tomorrow. I wish I could stay here where you. I hate leaving. No, um... no, it won't be. You'll be home soon, and then we can be together again, forever. Hey, look, we're a family now. Mm. I came to England to be with you. And look what we've achieved. We'll get through this, and one day soon there's going to be four of us in that picture. I'm going to be even closer than we are now. I'm sorry I blew you out for lunch, Shell. I totally lost track of time and then my mobile went down. That's all right. Now, tell me what we're celebrating. Nothing, as far as I know. Oh, <laughs> can't a girl have a bottle of bubbly just because, well, she's happy to be alive? He started singing to me. Well, so what if he did? Well, the Beatles, I mean, he, he can hardly talk and yet he's singing the Beatles like he's absolutely fine. Oh, did? Terry did. Apparently it's something to do with music being in a different part of the brain to speech. Heck, Bob, did you know Viv had been eating medical journals? Must be the new diet plan. I know enough to realise that Terry hasn't completely lost it, Bob. Hey, Louise, there was chocolate all over my best rug out the back. Oh, sorry, Diane. Um, I thought I cleaned it all up, but it was Gabby. See? Told you I was hopeless. No, you're not. <laughs> now stop going on about it. Oh, he's all over her like a rash. Can you blame him? I mean, he's been in his own for a long time, hasn't he? I mean, I, I wouldn't give her a second look. Not in a million years. Siobhan, what can I get you? A pint and a vodka and tonic, please. Is that wise, love? You've been pregnant. Oh, for God's sake. I'm not pregnant anymore, OK? I've had a miscarriage. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. It's OK. When we're getting through this all right, it's going to be fine. That's right. It is. These are on the house, OK? 
I am so sorry to hear that. Hello. Visual, please, Bob. I had my photo taken in here earlier. What for? Hmm. The press wanted an updated picture for their records. You and I should have one done. Another bottle of bubbly, please, Diane. Have you won the pools or something? No. Well, not quite. Stephanie, I'm sorry neither of us were at the factory this afternoon, but um, we had some personal business to catch up on. Quite lost the track of time. <laughs> Don't worry, Eric. Everything that needed doing got done. Good. I made sure of it. Oh, quite the happy couple, I see. We always were. Yeah. I'm beginning to think I got it all wrong. It was all a figment of my imagination, you know, you and... Uh, I can't even remember his name. It's amazing what the discovery of a criminal record can do to thwart things, wouldn't you say? I would. It's amazing, isn't it, that we don't see more pictures of you. You know, the happy couple in the newspapers. You need a bit of media savvy. Ambitious politicians such as yourself. Do good by stealth and blush to find fame. That's always been my motto. <laughs> Has it really? Fame costs. I believe it does. I can't see Eric warming, though, to be in tabloid fodder. Which is why we are so perfectly suited. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, you're excused. <laughs> Till the morning. Mm -hmm.